yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You are welcome to yeah, my viewers, this is TG Land Services Company. We are on your way today to teach you guys on how to mount a condenser in a deep freezer chest in a deep freezer. Now, there is something that happens. There is a former engineer who has been working on this unit and uh, the unit has not been working. So, the owner of the fridge has made up their mind to get another engineer. So, when you watch so far here, so good, we have this is the condenser. This condenser is bigger than the fridge and it's making the cooling not to be effective. Alright, so this is what we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This other 1, 2, 3, 4, we are going to remove it for us to get effective and active cooling of this freezer at the end. Stay tuned and watch how it goes. This is a saw blade, you use it to cut it out. You can come close to see what I'm doing as I do for your viewers to see. You can come close, whatever I'm doing, you can come directly to see what I'm doing. Alright, my viewers, this is what we call the capillary. Can you see the capillary? Come close. This is what we call the capillary. We have to cut it off. Alright, as so you can see, the, the capillary is out. The next thing you have to do, this is the dryer. The former dryer cannot be used anymore. You have to move it too. As you can see, the dryer is out. Um, the next step we are going to take right now. We have already discussed the condenser line that we are going to remove. One, two, three, four is going out. And um, when you watch closely right now, let's look for a way to remove it. We have already cut this place to shut it to shut it out. You can see, I'm still trying to remove it. Okay. All right, you have to get your saw blades to cut down this place. Alright, what is holding it right now is this man that we are talking about. Trying to separate it off entirely. Alright my viewers, as you can see, this is what we have done so far. We have removed the four lines. One, two, three, four is out. Um, 
what we are going to do next is for us to look for a way to connect a pipe here that will lead us to go to where the capillary is. Stay tuned and see how it goes. Please, I hope you are getting the close shots based on the viewers. You understand? Like, we can cut off this place I'm talking about. Try to get the close shot of whatever we are doing. In a, in, a, in a case that you got this type of fridge, don't panic. All you have to do, do it the same way we are doing it. At the end, you are going to get the results. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Right. Uh -huh. So, my we are about to uh, move to the fridge cover for you to see for yourself what we are doing. You have to get a screwdriver to do that. Alright, here we are. Here is that, right? My back cutting here for you. We to get what let's use this pipe for an additional apple. Let's go back to the other side. Alright, we want to wait, so you have to look for a pipe that can help you to that place will be far. Let me come on, let me show you. As you can see, this is a pipe that will enable us to join these together. So you have to look for a pipe that can be able to enter the other pipe freely. As you can see here, the pipe has entered through this place. It's just for us to brace it. Can you see this very well? Thank <laughs> you. 
you have to get your plier and make sure you badge it very well for the brows not to go and block the suction of the line pipe that you have already. Alright, this is how we are being operated. This is your oxygen and this is the acetylene. Right now, we are going to wear. Yeah, you have to get your brows. And this is your flux, as you can see. can see it has closed for white wedding you have to be very careful to for your brows not to do what to block the suction or having a leakage Now I'm putting the other pipe that will enable us wear the final one on this line. Don't forget to badge it. We are about to wear the second line on the other side of the pipe. Stay tuned and see the way it goes. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. you are welcome. All right, so you can see I'm done with that. What you're going to do now, secondly, is for us to, to trace the line which we have worked. In the sense, let's check it by this other side. See, I'm trying to turn the pipe for it to give me the direction which we need. And while doing that, you have to be very careful for the pipe not to patch. Let's 
you can see. I'm trying to join the 5 here. Alright, I've gotten to where I'm going. As you can see, this is the, the high side of the condenser. And this other one we wear it is the previous recording line. The same way we wear the other returning line of the dryer line, the same way we are going to wear the high side. While wedding, you have to be very careful. Make sure you are watching the safety of where you are working. All right, we have done with that. By what we have wedded right now. I'm trying to see if we can power the compressor for us to check the line of the dryer of the condenser line which we just waste, uh, waited initially. So let's check to see how it goes. Before you start powering it, you have to check your line see if it is open. I'm trying to lose the valve from the charging valve. Can you see it? All right. Yeah, my viewers, as you can see, when you watch closely here now, there are some air that is coming out from this place. This is now telling you that the two areas which we have wet is true. There is nothing like form of blockage because as you can see, the air is coming out from this place. Cut, cut that stuff. Alright, I'm trying to check how pumping, how the compressor is pumping. Now look very well from this place. When you watch, this is the high side of the compressor. And when you trace it from this place, it will not show you. Come. It will not show you that this is where it started. And from this place, it runs to come back to this place. All right, let's check the capillary to see if the capillary is true in the same time. When you want to check if your capillary is true, what you are going to do is for you to do what? Use the other hand and close this place. This is the socket line. They, they call it suction line. All right, the capillary is true. So the next thing we are going to do right now is for us to dress the condenser very well. After that, we have to put on the, the dryer to see how it goes. Alright, that should be in our next, next section. As you can see, we are back on the next section. We are done fixing the condenser and we have reduced the condenser as we said. The normal condenser that will fit in a size of freezer like this is this size of condenser. So, the next thing we are going to do right now is to fix the condenser to fix the dryer this is what we call a fridge dryer when you watch it closely this is what fridge dryer looks like it has a cover like this and this dryer is a kind of a, 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 a component that has a filter inside that can filter if there is any Moistures or dirtiness that want to pass through it, it will not pass. So when you want to wear, you can place it this way first. This one comes to the big mount and the capillary 
This is what we call the capillary. Can you see it very well? This is what we call a fridge capillary. It has a little hole and is a tube. All right. Okay. We are about to grease. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah. You are welcome. As you can see my veils, I'm trying to wedge very well. When you are wedding, you should avoid leakage. And a particular place which you are wedding. What I'm using to wed is oxygen and acetylene and a brass rod with the flux. Where is it to look? Is it here? Alright, this other side have to go to with easy flow. Whenever you are wearing the capillary area, it has to go with the easy flow, not brass. Alright, my viewers, we have to check what we have done so far. Oh, you know, okay. Cut off the car. Yeah, my viewers, as you can see, we are back on how to refill the air conditioner. When you watch closely, this is the, the hose. You plug it here. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Alright, by so doing, you have plugged it. Second, it is the second hose. You have to plug it on the refrigerant that you want to use. <laughs> After that, the next thing you are going to do is to open the, the, the valve of the content of the gas you are using. Despite in your area, whatever content you see in your country, what matters is to know how to refill it. Alright. Watch this please. If the compressor starts, it's going to suck down. As you can see, the gauge has gone down. Okay, now let's watch how it goes on the refilling. You don't need to go there, watch here. That place doesn't have anything to do. Close it. It's leaking. More than once. Yes, my viewers, as you can see, the gauge has just started going down. So what now happens is that 
whenever you put on the gas, the gauge will go up and drop back. So let's see how it goes. As you can see, the gauge is up right now. The gas is entering. You are going to be with us in this section for us to get it right to see how it goes finally. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are when you watch closely, the gauge is still rising. When you lock it this way, that means you have shut up. You kind of you have stopped the gas. The units will still be running. As you can see, I'm still putting on the gas. This is hard for you to know if the gas is entering or not. Whenever you are filling a, a refrigerator, you should get a gauge. This is what we call a gauge. This is a gauge. A gauge normally comes with two holes or a three holes. Depending on the PSI that you are using, um, depending on the pressure of the gas which you are using. But on the normal terms, you have to have a gauge that has two holes that will enable you to plug it to the compressor. And at the same time, that will enable you to do or to plug it to the, to the gas bottle. And uh, with that, you can be able to do what? To be opening and be locking for the gas to be entering all right so far so good we are still on the on on the refilling of gas when you watch here this is what we call the condenser as an engineer when you are refilling the gas you have to come to touch when you touch the condenser this way um, if the condenser is not heating and you have refilled, you have put in a new content of refrigerator and this place is not heating, that is equivalent to telling you that the unit is not working. For the reason that there is a refrigerant on the unit, when you touch it like this way, it will be heating, it will be condensing. Why this place is heating? In the terms of refrigeration, we call it condensing. As you can see right now, let me check how many that is being condensed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I I might tell you that the whole of the condensers have condensed. As you can see so far, it, it is working very well. 
position that our unit is working. So let's now check what happens in the inside. As you can see, the whole of the condenser here is heating. This is what makes you to know that the unit is working. In no distance time, we are going to check the inside to know how it, it is inside. I don't even know where you are watching. In the country you are, some people in your country they normally use a gas bottle like this. Some of the US, Canada, I don't know, make sure it's in the country where you are watching. Some of the, com the countries, they, they use a normal bottle like this. And some of the individual countries, like some of the African countries, can as well to use a bottle like this. It's what matters is the content which you have inside. So keep monitoring the gauge and see how it works. What we have on the gauge here, you can come close to the gauge. I just want you to understand what we are doing. When you watch, the gauge is uh, equivalent to 5 PSI. It's not up to 10. It depends on how the unit is going to work, determines how we are going to put another inlet of gas. All right, stay tuned. Come over here, let's see the inside and see if we are really getting results so far. Okay, it's starting from down. It's okay. Let's allow it to run. Yeah, my viewers, when you, you can, I want to let you guys to understand once, uh, one or two things. Initially, um, when the video started, I taught you guys something that this condenser, we cut it out from this one because uh, the previous engineer that has been working on the unit, he, he, he placed all of them in one fridge. But when you check it very well, putting an excessive condenser in a particular unit can make, can stop the cooling to reduce. In the sense, when the unit is running but there is no more functional pressure it will slow the cooling inside so what we did is that we have to remove a line from the condenser we removed one two three four five and um what we have here remaining that is working is one two three four five yeah, six, yeah. seven eight nine uh -huh. ten adding to this one is 15 lines oh, condenser welcome. but when you add up this 15 line condenser together if you need to work but the effective in the inside will be very slow so what I'm trying to teach you today is that whenever you want to work in on any refrigerator you should do what try to find out the normal size of condenser that can work on that unit effectively any size of condenser cannot work try to know some of the units or some of the diffusers have they can use what they call 10 lines 11 lines 13 lines some of them can use 9 line condenser what is your duty to do or to check but through this video today you can find out that um, we have tried to make to get it right for you guys to know what is happening as you can see the unit is working so let's give it more time to check the temperature from the, the gauge stay tuned okay I'm trying to put more gas to the unit. As you can see, I've locked the gate. When you watch the good, the gate closely right now is kind, it kind of stepping up to 10 psi, but it's not up to 10 psi. All right. One of the things you have to know again when you are working on a refrigerator, after your wedding aspect of it, you should try as soon as possible to check. 
if there is any kind of leakage through where you have wet before because if the gas is dropping through where you have wet or where you have breathed the, the gas will keep going out the more you are refilling it, the gas will keep dropping so if in the same sense you should be what very observant to know if your gas is intact or not All right, my viewers, as you can see, we are ending up this section right now. Um, I want you to understand something before we shut the camera down. For you to observe what we have done so far, here's the gauge. All right, this is the gas bottle that we are using. And when you watch closely here, this is the compressor, and this is how it goes. Try to watch this very carefully for you to know what we have done so far today. Alright, see you in our next class. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You are welcome to teach. Yeah, my dears, we are back again to make you guys understand what we have discussed. On the previous video. Alright, this is how it goes. Let's go to the board. Before we go to the board, I want you to view here. Let's know what we have here. Come close, come close. Let us see what we have here. This is the AC compressor. This is the capacitor. And this is outdoor fan mode. Now, I want to give you the breakdown from the board. Now we're helping you guys for us to work together to see how this connection of the theory will also help you to the practical aspect. So let's see how it goes. All right, the number one point here we have is what how to connect capacitor. Okay. Number two says how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in in in, in AC compressor. Now, the three says how to know how to connect AC compressor. Alright, these are the three components that we have today, and we have to discuss it and learn about it and start it together. Alright. The number one place we are going to start, this man is the capacitor that we are talking about, is how to connect the capacitor. Alright. How to connect the capacitor is let's come to this place this is the diagram here this is the diagram this is the capacitor and when you watch we have already discussed that before we have something we call what fan line which is here yeah this is the fan line when you watch closely here you see something like fan yes this is fan and when you watch here, we have what we call neutral line, which is this C. As you are seeing it here, come close. This is the C line. When you watch closely, there is C here. You can see it very well. And when you watch closely here, you see what we call the ham line, the ham terminal, which is here. When you watch very closely, you see the ham line on this place. It's very clear for you to see. All right. So to connect a capacitor simply means you also do want to connect a compressor. All right. Now, let's go directly for you to understand what we are saying. We are, start, we are starting a compressor which is one horsepower. The capacitor you are going to use for a one horsepower compressor is what? 30 UF for one horsepower compressor. Any one horsepower compressor in the whole world normally use what? 30 UF capacitor. Alright. 
Now, when you come down here, you see what we have here. We have compressor, one horsepower AC, which is hard. That you can see what we write here CROS. In the normal terms of refrigeration, in technical terms, it's called common running starting. What did I say? Common running starting. So, when you watch down here on the, that on the board, this is what we call a wire, it's a cable. It's all called a cable. The cable normally have what we call red wire and blue wire and eggs. We'll come to that in practical. And when you see here, what we have here is what? A fan bottle. Watch it here. Go up, go up here. A fan bottle for outdoor. Have you seen it? Fan bottle for outdoor. Now, when you see the fan bottle, it has what we call three wires. It has the speed line and the capacitor line and the neutral line. When you watch down here, this is the socket of this component of what we are doing. This is the place you put it as a source. Just keep grasping the board and coming. Now, the next thing we are going to do is for us to discuss how to connect this on theoretical aspect of it before we come back to, to the practical. All right, I, I said for the first time, capacitor connection and compressor connection and fan motor connection, we are doing it both together. All right, this is how it goes. Firstly, you are going to start with your wire. When you watch closely right here, this is the lifeline of the wire. You take it from the wire, where you want to this is what we call cable, wire cable. You take the light wire directly to the common. To where we call common running starting. This is the common. The light wire will go directly to this place. When you watch is the red is being connected by the light wire. When you watch it very well again, this is the neutral line. The neutral go directly to what the capacitor C. I showed you guys that. Initially here, this is the C line, you can go close for them to see what we are doing. You see, we will connect the neutral directly to what? To the C. At the same time, when you watch this R, this R is what? The running, you have to do what? Take your wire directly to what? To the capacitor here, to make sure that this running has come in contact with the neutral line. It's very clear here. After that, the next one that is being that we are not talking about is what the starting. When you choose the black starting wire, it goes directly to what the ham terminal of the world capacitor. So when you watch it closely, the capacitor here and the compressor have got to what power. Now the one that is being left over here is what the fan motor. The fan motor when you watch, we have the red wire. The capacitor wire and the black wire. This capacitor, this uh, speed line, you take it what directly to what to the life line. As you can see, the speed line always work with the life wire of the wire. And now, when you watch the other line, which is the capacitor, is what if you trace it, it goes directly to what the fan capacitor, what terminal in the capacitor, which I have said so far. And when you watch that here again, the other one being left out is what? The neutral line, and it goes directly towards the capacitor terminal in that place. What we are doing is not being confusing. We are making it for you guys to understand what we are doing. All right. So with that, if you plug it, it gets correct. So what we are going to do in addition right now is what? The connection of the practical. This is the fan motor which we have talked about. It's present here, and this is the capacitor. It's present here, and here is what the AC compressor. This is the AC compressor which we have drawn on the board, and this is the capacitor or the theoretical aspect of it. Practical aspect of it. This is the capacitor, and this other man here is the fan motor. All right. Watch very carefully to see how we 
we are able to connect it and power it for it to start practically. Alright. They can come close. Let's start from this. Come close, come close. Alright. My viewers, when you watch here now, I want you to get something very clear for you not to be confused in anything. You cannot be in this lesson and after everything, you did not learn anything. No. Now, this is a cable. Watch it very well. This is a cable. When you watch it, it's a cable. This is what we call a tartan arms socket plug. All right. And when you watch closely right here, it's, this is what we call workshop flex wire. And it has one, two, three. Now, in this, it can come close. In these three wires, when you watch very well, this is brown. This brown represents what? The life. And when you watch well, this is what? Blue. This blue represents what? The neutral. When you watch this other one, this is what? Earth. And this earth is for the earth wire. Now, back to the wall. I want you to understand something. Come close, come close. Can you say you can get what I'm doing? I want you to understand something. Now, this brown represents this man. Called what the live wire. This blue wire represents what this other man called what the neutral. And this is the earth, which is this other man here. All right. Back to the connection of what we are going to do today. I want you to watch very carefully and be very, very observant on what we are doing. All right. You can come, come close, come close. We have to start with the capacitor. We have to start with what we call the capacitor connection for three. All right. This is the capacitor. This other one here is what? The fan wire. It has what? Yellow, blue, and red. And this one is going directly for what? To the light wire. Let's start. Come close, come close, come close. I hope it's the same one. All right. Now, for you to see how everything works, you have to watch very carefully and be very, very observant. This is a three cord wire from the fan motor. And this one that is yellow is going directly to the what? The live wire of the cable that we are using. I've connected this one. I'm waiting for something else. Just hold on. All right, come on up to this place. When you watch in this cover, there is something being written here. Yeah, as you can see, this is the compressor terminal. When you watch very well here, there is something here. This is what? C R O S. I get me this is the compressor terminal and it represents for common running starting, which is the same thing that we showed you guys on the board here. Initially, this is something that we show you guys here. Common running starting is now coming back to what? To the real practical aspect of it. As you can see very well, there is nothing here you cannot understand. If only you can follow this video accordingly. Okay. This is what? Come on, running, starting. Let's see how to connect it for it to start. Watch very carefully. What you have to do is to do what? You lose this place for you to see directly the clips, directly from the terminal of the compressor. Okay. When you watch, Carefully here, this man is the common, and when you watch, this is the common here. This is the common. This is the common. Right now, let's go back to our wire that we connected right here. Okay, I brought back this other wire. I've come back to this other one that I've connected the fan line. Get to get the fan, the fan. 
They have collected the fan bottle. This is the wire for the fan bottle. When you watch closely right here, the wire is being connected by the wire we are going to go to put for the socket. Watch what happens. This man now that is being on this overload is what? Come on. Now you do what? You add it to this place. You add it to this place. You have automatically connected the common to the live wire. I hope this is very clear. The one that is not being connected right now is the what? The blue and the arts. The only one being connected right now is what? A live wire that represents what? The brand. But this is the live wire of the AC started. And this one that being connected here as the live one is what we call common. We connected it to the common. The common represents the live wire. All right. On the second thought, what we are going to do, watch very carefully how everything goes. All right. Now, back to this one. Back to what we say, common running starting. Common running starting. All right. Now, this is the running. This running have to go towards the neutral. I'm coming for that. Okay. This is the neutral. This is the neutral. That is, let me say, I, I, and the way I said it last time, I said this is what common running. The common is being connected right here, and this is the neutral, and this is where the neutral is coming. Watch very carefully, watch very carefully. I'm trying to pin this wire so that the neutral is going to connect to this, to this power. Watch very well. We are not going to be fast so that you'll be able to understand what we are doing. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. You are not seeing my camera. Okay, this is the neutral of this wire, the inlet wire. This is the neutral. Now, the rolling of the compressor, I'm connecting it to it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm connecting it to it. The running is being connected to this to this power wire and now this is the capacitor that we talked about the 30 uf capacitor which we have discussed when you watch very well we are going to plug this neutral wire on c which is the c come here which is the c which we discussed here and when you watch this is the neutral now the neutral is coming on c look at it i've already plugged it here when you watch now, it's on C. The neutral wire is on C. When you follow this thing practically, the way we did it from the board and the practical aspect of it, you are going to do the same thing that we do and you are going to get the result. I'm now going to drop it. Okay? The next step I'm going to take right now is the word, the starting. Let's go back to the word, the board, come to the board. This is the starting. We have connected, come on, running. And this starting right now, which went to this ham what go to the word which go to this ham let's let's make it practical all right this is the the starting let's look for a clip that we are going to use for that connection okay when you watch here right now this is the ham what is where we are on the camera okay i'm going to plug this clip here is always a clip on the capacitor that's, that is always staying alone it hasn't been connected to anyone all right this is the wire i'm going to connect it right now to the starting wire on the compressor as you can see i'm bringing that by twisting the wire together as you can see right now I'm doing that in the same time for you to understand what is going on. I'm trying to tighten it because it's too bogus to the terminal.
Hold on. As you can see, I'm trying to push it in. Okay, when you watch closely right now, I've plugged it in. What matters is not the colors of the wire, what matters is for you to learn the diagram from the compressor terminal. This is common running starting. They are all connected. They are all connected. Before we on it, we are going to make a refresh of what we have connected. All right, so far, so good. We are back to the Fan motor, this is the fan motor. Have you seen it? This is the fan motor. Go to the wire. The only wire remaining on the fan motor is only two red and blue. What happens to them? Alright, this is what will happen to them right now. This other neutral, okay, have to go where it has to go to the capacitor neutral. Okay. I'm trying to plug it for you to see how it goes. I'm trying to give it current. <sighs> All right. When you watch closely, I have already fixed this one right now. The only one remaining is the red. This other red is going to stay on its side, on the fan line, on the capacitor. Hold on, let me see. Okay, this is where we are. Look at me. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to tap in current to the fan line on the red wire for it to be able to get current. All right, when you watch closely right now, this other man here, which is the fan, is, is without a clip. Right now, I'm going to plug the fan line to eat for you to understand what we have taught you guys all right as you can see now this is the fan line here hello come here this is the diagram that, that we used initially for you to see the fan motor which is this man which is this man and now watch closely here this is the speed line which is the red wire i have done what i have taken it to the life now when you watch, the whole connections is being connected, right? So let's talk about it again for you to understand. I said what? Come back to this place. This is common running starting. The common being the yellow wire of this overload have to be... Have to be connected by the life wire. Watch it. This is the life wire of this cable. The red one is being connected to this and this is the only place for this white uh, the, the red wire which is the life we have to connect only the fan line here and the compressor line this is the only one that can receive life as you can see it has been done when you come to the neutral the running is on this neutral this is the the, the power that brought it here and the, the compressor running is here and the fan running is here and when you watch closely here, this is the single for the fan. And when you watch closely here too, this is for the what? The, the, the hump of the compressor, which is the starter. Okay. Okay. All right. When you watch closely right now, what is remaining is for us to do what? To put it on a socket. Alright, this is where we are now. This is the socket, the plug of the, the connection we have done there. 
you are now taking it to a socket. The socket is off. You plug it. As you plug it, you are to do what? To on it. I have come this way. Yes, yes, yes. Now, my peers, I want you to understand what we have done. We have done the connections. And for you to know, you got what you did. Watch here. This is what we call the high side of an AC compressor. What I'm doing, I'm trying to pump the compressor to see if we got the connection. I want you to observe from yourself. As you can see, this place you see is sucking. This is the suction of the compressor. I want you to understand what we are doing. When you watch here, the capacitor is here. When you watch here, the fan is turning. Look at it, it's turning. You understand? It's turning very well. I'd like you to talk for a while for them to understand what they have done. We are, we are together in this lesson. And I want every one of you who have spent your time to watch, who have spent your time to follow up, to see the practical aspect of what we have done, or the theoretical aspect. This one is what is on, as you can see, is the story. If it was on the unit, the blower, the blade will start pouring. But we have done what we're supposed to do. The other things remaining on the unit is just the what everyone has to do. What is very well, the fan is turning on itself. It's rotating on itself. When you watch, what is powering them is only this 30, 30 UF capacitor that we talked about there. That is the only thing powering the two objects that we have here. When you come back to this place again, you see that this is the total body of the compressor. You can hear the sound of the compressor. Watch it very well. As you can see for yourself, it's pumping. This is the way. Okay, let me let me just break something down. This is a compressor. Whenever you connect. Whenever you connect your compressors, for you to know if the compressor is pumping, you have to pump from this place. When you hold it, you can check the pressure of the compressor. You can hear it. I'm holding it. You hold it for a while. And you leave it. You hold it again. It's pumping. So when you come to this other side, this other side is a socket. It will suck my hand in. You see it? It sucks in my hand. As you can see, my hand is being inside. It's sucking it in. This is the suction. When it comes to AC compressor, and this place you see is called accumulator. This is the accumulator of a compressor. It's sucking in. And this place, as I said earlier, is the pumping aspect of the compressor. This is the pumping. This is the place that normally push the heat to the condenser. And before you know, it will start producing cooling. When it works directly again on the board, you can understand the, the, the theoretical aspect of the board, what we have taught today so far. Go up, let me see something here. I said... Yeah, as you can see the board, what you have there is what? How to connect capacitor, number one. Number two says how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. Now the answer is what? 30 UF for one horsepower. The number three says how to how to know how to connect AC compressor. 
which we have done here today, which we have done from the theoretical aspect towards the practical aspect. And this is the this is the diagram for the compressor that has common running starting. As you can see on the board, it is there. On the other side is what we call the capacitor, which is this that has a three pin one two three that has what fan. From the fan, it has what cam, which is the starting of the compressor. From this place, you see what you have the C. And when you watch closely right there, this is the wire which you use in connecting it on the board. The other hand here, what we have here is what we have the fan motor for art door. And this is the art door fan motor. And it is running as you can see, it's turning. It's working because the connections which you and I did was very 100% okay. And this is the capacitor. We have used the 30 UF capacitor, which we have used in connecting the both the fan and the compressor together. As you can see here, the sound of the compressor is still steaming because the connection is okay. This place is the place you are going to hold. Whenever you you finish connecting your compressor, you have to hold it to check the pumping. And this compressor you are seeing here is one horsepower compressor. It's not any one, this is one horsepower. So my friends and my viewers, I will urge you to watch this video very carefully and I will always beg you to listen very carefully for you to understand what we have done together. With this, anybody who goes through this lesson today can be able to do what? To connect a capacitor and to connect what? A fan, ad, a, an add of fan motor with a capacitor. So please, my friend, our aim of doing this is to do what? To educate the world, to educate whoever that is willing to learn in refrigeration aspect. We will be always coming to your way, teaching you guys on how to do what to repair your air conditioner. Anyone who wants to partake on online training, don't fail to contact and comment or call our phone numbers. We are very reliable and we can give you whatever you want in your area. You can learn from wherever you are. Okay, my viewers, keep observing what we have done together. You can still go back to the board for them to see the diagram in full shape. Wow, this is, this is wow, because I'm happy that a lot of people are going to learn from this. Don't fail to contact TG Roland Services. I don't really know, we are going to dismantle it. When dismantle it, you can still see the way we did it and we'll couple it back. The fan is still rotating. I'm not too fast to cut the video because there are some persons who require us to understand it too well. And this is still the capacitor. When you watch, it's a three-cord capacitor. Three-cord capacitor. When you watch here, this is the compressor. What you are seeing here is what we call overload. That is the overload that we are talking about to enable six compressor to start. All right, my viewers. As you can see, I want to put, put it off. Let me go directly to the socket and off it. Okay, let's go directly to the, go to the socket. All right, here is where we are. We are back on the socket. We are back on the socket. The sound you are hearing, you are going to hear it no more. This is the off. As you can see, 
As you are not open it, you have to unplug it. You are welcome to TG Roland Services, your number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. We offer nationwide services in installation and repairs of all kinds of air conditioners. We also repair refrigerators and sell all kinds of refrigeration spare parts. At TG Roland Services, we offer mentorship and training programs. Visit our head office today at number 104 Afam Road, Oyibo River State, or our branch office at number 3 Dani P Street off Elekaya Rumu Kalabo, Port Harcourt River State. You could call our phones on 0806-270-4556 or 0806-544-5143. Reach us on WhatsApp 0806-544-5143. You could as well reach us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google Business at TG Roland Services. Our website www.tgrolandservices.com.ng TG Roland Services. Your number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. TG Roland Services. We are the best in the game. We are the best. Oh. Yeah, this is TG Roland. TG Roland Services. We are the best. You are welcome to TG Roland Services, your number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. We offer nationwide services in installation and repairs of all kinds of air conditioners. We also repair refrigerators and sell all kinds of refrigeration spare parts. At TG Roland Services, we offer mentorship and training programs. Visit our head office today at number 104 Afam Road, Oyibo River State, or our branch office at number 3 Dani P Street off Elekaya Rumu Kalabo, Port Harcourt River State. You could call our phones on 0806-270-4556 or 0806-544-5143. Reach us on WhatsApp 0806-544-5143. You could as well reach us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google Business at TG Roland Services. Our website www.tgrolandservices.com.ng TG Roland Services. Your number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. TG Roland Services. Yeah. We are the best in the game. We are the best. Oh. Yeah. This is TG Roland. TG Services. Roland Services. Yeah. We are the best.